moon bow The sun bear says hello to everyone oh, hello. To the clouds and the trees And to you and the bees To the stars and the moon and the sun Moon bow is your friend Nice to be back. Uh, it is uh, Thursday, the 1st of October. 1st of October 2020, and it is a full moon. <laughs> oh, yeah, so nice. And oh, my friend Mix, say hello, Mix. Hello, everyone. Yeah, that is, that is a nice hello. Thank you. Oh, you are welcome. Thank you for saying a nice hello mix. You're welcome. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, this is the Moonbow Show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it is your first time, hello. Hello means I love you. Yeah, it does. Actually, you don't believe me. But when you get to know me, Moonbow, you see my shirt says happy. <laughs> yeah, that means... I have a very happy heart. Yeah, that is my nature, moon ball. Okay, so anyway, full moon. For those who watch, no, it is a time of abundance. Yeah, gratitude. Big, full, beautiful moon. Here in London, it is cloudy. Yeah, and so we will probably not see the moon, but we can feel her. Yeah, we can feel her in our hearts. And in our bodies, oh, moonbow body. And yeah, and it is a time of, yeah, full. What is full and beautiful and abundant and giving thanks? And we have many thanks to give, don't we, Max? Yes, we do. Yeah, Max and Roxy and moonbow. Yeah, we are back from a... Big. <laughs> big, oh, oh, my paws don't stretch any further. Uh, big adventure in Scotland. Yeah, mix. Yes, Mumbo. Wasn't it nice? Yes, it was so beautiful there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was so beautiful. We went uh, Galloway Forest. Yeah, Argyle. Yeah, Mull. <laughs> Merkin, yeah, uh, Abby Moore, yeah, Boat of Garden, yeah, Perth, yeah, and Edinburgh, yeah, and then on the way home, we went to uh, a place I can't remember the name near Hall for seals, yeah, seals, oh, Max, we have not yet googled if a seal is related to a bear, I think it is, I think bears and seals. I don't know. I think Moonbow has a seal nature. <laughs> that is funny. Anyway, so, yeah, gratitude to the land of Scotland. It is so beautiful. And uh, they are very good about COVID out, up there, aren't they, Max? Yes, they are. Yeah, tell them what they have. Well, uh, very strict about wearing masks. Yeah, they even yeah and uh, what else a uh, hand sanitizer they had hand sanitizer in every shop and as soon as you walked in they said will you please sanitize your hands yeah or your paws they made me sanitize my paws makes you had to lift me up so i could put it on and uh, it was a bit stingy on my fur but uh, it was good yeah and what else well they were just very careful weren't they yeah, they were very careful. Nicola Sturgeon. We like her. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't talk politics on this show. <laughs> Sometimes we do. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we think she is good. But uh, yeah. And what else makes we are so lucky? Yeah, we were very lucky. We traveled in a tiny little car, didn't we? Yeah. You could put a, a photo of that car that we were in. Okay. I'll put a photo in the video. Okay, yeah, then we were in a very small car and uh, mm, 
But we were so content. That's true, we were. Yeah, we lived in a tiny little home on wheels for three weeks. And we traveled around and uh, it was very cozy and sometimes cold <laughs> and rainy and sometimes sunny and uh, pretty warm. Not so warm for a sun bear, but pretty warm. And, um, and we looked for animals. Yes, we did. Yeah, and we found them. We found the red squirrels, and we found the otter, and we found a uh, deer, and we found um, badgers. Yeah, we found so many animals, and also it was about human kindness. Yeah, mix. Yes, Mom. Tell them about your new friends. Okay, well, not just new friends, also old friends. Yeah, Nikki! Yeah, Nikki came and met us in, uh, well, north of, uh, north of Trussocks. And then we went to Argyle with her. Anyway, and that was very nice, and she was very kind. Yeah, Nikki, and, uh, and, and uh, talk about your new friends. Well, when I was down photographing otters, first I met Terry. Yeah, Terry and his wife, we don't know her name, uh, from Wales. They were very nice. Hello, Terry. And, um, and then who else? Then I met Mark. Yeah, Mark. He is so nice. He helped us so much with the spotting of the otters. And then later we got invited to his house with his wife, who is named Lorraine. Hello, Lorraine. And, um, and, and you photographed more red squirrels. It was so nice. And, 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 and what else, Mix? Yeah. <laughs> Mungo, we, we saw beavers, didn't we? Yeah, very late at the night and we couldn't photograph them, but we saw beavers and they have been introduced, reintroduced into Scotland by another friend whose name is Alan. And we went and visited Alan and he showed us his badgers who live in Boat of Garden and he was so nice and... It was so nice. All of it was so nice. But yeah, so gratitude on the full moon for all this abundance. And also, Mix. Yes, Mambo. I want to say something about abundance. Okay. Well, when we were in that little car. Yes. We had very little. Wow. Well. In a way, we did. Compared to when we get home. Like, we had a tiny mattress, not a nice big bed, and we had not nice sheets. We had sleeping bags, and um, we had very limited food, and we had only one little gas burner, and we had... Uh, you were a bit stinky! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Moonbo. Yeah, well, you were wearing the same clothes! Over and over, you did not do laundry except for your you know what that you did wash by hand, but you were you were wearing clothes same over and over. <laughs> you do like to advertise my business, don't you? Oh well, yeah, it is my show, so I talk about what is happening to us. But you were wearing like um, same jeans for a week. <laughs> It's true. And they were, you know, a little bit muddy from trekking around. Yeah, but you did not mind. It's true. I didn't mind at all. So that is what I want to talk about is scarcity and abundance that maybe it is also a state of mind. Like you could have one cup and one plate and one knife, spoon, fork. One pot, one burner, and have baked beans for dinner, and feel very abundant, right? Right. Not to feel deprived at all, feel very abundant. Yeah. 
Yes, it's true. And then you could have a palace and a uh, hundred rooms and um, different shoes for every day of the year or something. I don't know what rich people do, but... Um, and you could still feel deprived. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, one of the things that the, the trip, I think, taught me and you, particularly you, <laughs> makes I am speaking for you, sorry. It's okay, my brother. You go ahead. But this is like, all that stuff doesn't matter. Yeah. I, we live quite small, flat, with not so much things, but compared to some people, but still, it, why so many things? We don't need them, right? Uh, and uh, in the van, there's nothing on the walls, <laughs> like no pictures, and it is fine. So maybe, I don't know. But so something about scarcity and abundance, that there can be great abundance in something so small, like... Like a small act of kindness, like Mark uh, spending time and showing you the squirrels is not expensive, but it is so rich. It's true. Yeah. So he is, he is a really good new friend. He is a good new friend. And he loves the peace and quiet and he loves the animals and... Um <laughs> yeah, he has a he has a lot of what is a called a hide where you have like a little structure that you hide in so you can watch animals and that is so nice and we saw so many squirrels and uh, yeah, it was so nice. So yeah, but the other thing that happened on that trip makes Yes, Umbro. Oh. I am going to talk for you again. Okay, here we go. Oh, that sounds a bit sarcastic, Mix. Anyway, but uh, Mix, you had a very, very, very hard time, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. Mix was very sad and alone and lonely, very in touch with loneliness, very in touch with missing Sim, very in touch with feeling lost and uh, deprived with the COVID, no hugs, yeah? Yeah. And the mix? Yes, Moonbo. And you would ask me, you would say, Moonbo, you tell me what you see. That's exactly what I would do. I'd say, Moonbo, tell me what you see. Yeah, and I would tell you, look, Max, at the beautiful sky and the beautiful clouds and look at those trees and look at the sea and look at those birds and look at the beach. And I would say all these things because you needed help to awaken to your joy. I did. You're absolutely right. And you really helped me, Moonball. Huh. You did. Huh. That is nice. Yeah, well, but I was not feeling so sad because I have you. And I, I had the love of the land of Scotland and all those animals and the, oh, the, la the trees, oh, the clouds, the everything. It's so beautiful there, and I was quite happy, but you were not always happy, so I could share my joy with you. You did. You did that so generously. Yeah, and then you phoned some friends, Cinda, hello, Cinda, and you phoned Robbie, hello, Robbie, and Cara, hello, Cara, and you cried a lot, and... They were so kind. They were. They were so patient and so kind and so understanding. Yeah. So the full moon today for you, Max, it is full of love for your friends, is it not? Yes, it is. It really is. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that is the full moon. But the other thing I wanted to talk about today on my show is, well, two things. One is about uncertainty. Oh, what do you want to say about uncertainty? Well, I think the world is topsy-turvy and it's not about to go not topsy-turvy, whatever that word is. It is, there's COVID, um, economic crisis, uh, climate crisis, and political crazy shenanigans with right-wing craziness going on. And it's really tough. It is really tough. Yeah. And we don't know anything about what is going to happen even tomorrow or tonight. It is all topsy-turvy and it's a hard time to live, but I guess what the moon bow would say is first of all, of course, about the appreciation of what you have right now. So today, Today we have a roof over our head and today we have food in our tummy. Oh, when is lunch? <laughs> uh, we can do lunch after the show. Okay. Um, but the, yeah. Mm, so the things we have right now, like Roxy has, I think, woken up from her nap and she is making some noises. And, um, and we have had some nice conversations on the whatsapp today with some friends and things like that and and that is all true and real and we have each other yeah but the other thing is about the plans like it's very hard to plan when you don't know what's coming but maybe you can still have hopes and dreams as long as they are not too rigid right they are not too like they must happen or they will happen or they will happen at this time, but you can hold them loosely because mix. What, Moonbow? <laughs> that was a funny what. Anyway, uh, mix, do you want to say our idea? Well, we could. Yeah. Mix and I and Roxy are thinking maybe, 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 maybe move to Scotland. Why not? That I could be the first bear. Reintroduction of bears to the Scottish forests. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello! Moonbow the friendly bear is here in Scotland. Ha <laughs> ha! That would be nice. And then I could invite some friends. <laughs> yeah, first beavers, then bears, then wolves. All back where they should be. Yeah, I saw so many forest specks that were perfect for bears. <laughs> You kept telling me, you kept saying, Max, this is, look at this forest, it's perfect for bears. Yeah, that is what I said, because it is perfect for bears, yeah. Anyway, so, but the other thing, which is sort of related to plans and Scotland and things, is home. Home. Yeah, home. So, when we were driving home, to London and when we walked in the front door well first of all Roxy 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 the dog Roxy um well I think she found it a little difficult the traveling in the car yeah she's not very used to the car no and so she would get anxious which was very sad but the that is Roxy shaking oh Anyway, um, yeah, so she would get a bit shaky. But sh she seemed to know when we were in about an hour from London that we were going home, even though even though we don't go in cars. And that, uh, Mix doesn't have a car. It was rented, and, and we were never on that motorway before. But Roxy knew, and she was so calm. Yeah, and then when we were about five blocks away in an area where, again, she was not f familiar with that. She was putting her paws on the little um, 
bit of the window and, and looking out and she knew she was home. It's like she could sense it or smell it or mm, mix. Yes, Mumbo. Animals are very smart and they are smart in ways that humans are not. Yeah, very intuitive and embodied. That's what I say. But anyway, when we walked in, what did you feel when you walked in the door? Well, our home seemed very warm and full of wood and beauty. Yeah, very cozy. Yeah, it felt very cozy. Yeah, it did. And, and you got to change your clothes. About time makes you were stinky. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you had a shower and you changed your clothes and put things away and all that. And, and, then, and then what? Yeah, and then what is right? I thought, am I home? Yeah. What is home? This is a good question. What is home? Is Scotland home? Is being in a little camper van on the move home? Like a turtle with a shell and they carry their home with them? Is a home a place or is a home a feeling? You see, because Moonbo is not so attached to a place. Moonbo has a home that is from love, freedom, Fresh air, green grass and leaves. That is my home. And that is everywhere. And my toes. Oh, you know, I am very partial to my toes. Yeah, they are so nice. And when I am in touch with my toes, then I am home. Yeah, so That is what I all I want to say. I don't even know what I am saying exactly, but that home is a place inside, not outside. And maybe home is also a how do I say this mix? Home is a space in between beings. Home is the love between people. So when Robbie listened to you on the phone and you were weeping and he told you that all he felt was beauty, then you were home. You were home with Robbie in that moment. That is what I think. I think you're a very wise bear, Mumbo. Yeah, well, I don't know about wisdom, but I have a big heart that overflows with love. And I want to say hello to Kasha. We saw Kasha last night on a Zoom call. It was so nice to see her. And Nazreen. Oh, hello, Nazreen. Yeah, and Karen. <laughs> we haven't seen Karen in a while. And oh! And we came home and we had so many tomatoes to eat and they were sweet and we shared them with our neighbor Kim and it is like we had a home with the tomatoes. They were full of love and sweetness for us. So that is what I say for my show today and um, it is so nice to be back and Make a show and happy full moon. Say bye bye, Mix. <laughs> kind of an abrupt ending to your show. Oh, okay. Well, that is how it is. Say bye bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Yeah, well, that is Moonbow and uh, scarcity and abundance and uh, gratitude and hello, Mark and um, hello, otters, red squirrels. <laughs> Hello Badgers, hello Alan, hello Ruby, hello everybody, oh, yeah, and Cara had a birthday, hello, and happy birthday to Cara for uh, a couple of uh, a week ago, uh, two weeks ago, yeah, anyway, so, no, no, Moonbo only one week ago, anyway, so, see you next time, bye! Moonbo, the sun bear says,
says hello to everyone. Oh, hello. To the clouds and the trees, and to you and the bees, to the stars and the moon and the sun. Oh, happy hearted moon, oh, such joy from start to end. With fur and toes and ears and nose, Moonbow is your friend.